Once you have determined which protein or proteins you want to target on your Western blot, it's time to start thinking about which primary antibody you should be using. For that, you're going to revisit the other three pieces of information that you have learned about that protein. We're going to think about under which forms is it found on your cell, if it goes under any post-translational or chemical modifications, and if it's found on its native or denatured state. First, let's talk about protein forms. A lot of proteins undergo alternative splicing and are therefore found with different isoforms. You need to make sure you know which one of those isoforms you want to study and that your primary antibody is capable of recognizing that particular isoform. Second, we want to think about protein modification. A lot of proteins undergo chemical and post-translational modification, such as phosphorylation or glycosylation. If that's the case for your protein, once again, make sure you know which one of those modifications you want to study and make sure your primary antibody can target that. For example, if you want to study phosphorylation, perhaps the best approach is to use two antibodies, a pan-antibody that recognizes all modifications of that protein and one specific antibody that recognizes only the phosphorylated form of your protein. Third, you want to know if you're going to be working with that protein under its native or denatured state. In most cases, Western blots are performed with proteins under their denatured states in the presence of SDS. Again, for more information about that, please refer to our other Lambda U courses.